Yo, what's up, everybody? Hey, I'm back into the swing of things. Cutting down trees in the rain in the dark. That's that's back how we used to do it, right? Yeah, just put these back before something comes to kill us. That'd be good. I actually took a look around and didn't see a single mob. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, what's my render distance at? Very short. Um, let's keep that normal. Oh, oh, I love that. There's actually a new version of Optifine where if you throw a torch like that, it emits light, and it's really cool. Same with flaming arrows. Um, I have to update, though. Can I eat? I am missing a thing. There we go. Uh, hi. I've got to... Hey, there's a creeper. i got to get stuff done today. i got to get stuff done fast, that's for sure. Uh, I got family coming to visit, and I got about an hour, hour and a half to get whatever I'm going to get done, done. So, we might get a full project done today, it might not. Uh, who knows? But either way, I'm going on vacation to uh, Glacier National Park. So, I gotta get my recording done so that I can go there and have some videos scheduled to go up. Ah, uh, morning time. I've been working a little bit on our dock area, so if you remember the plan, we have our town over here. Let's go up on this bridge where we have a really good view of everything. We have our fields over there. I'm still expanding them. Um, I want to. I want everything to be fields all the way back there. And I have my render distance kind of low for the sake of recording with shaders right now. Um, but that's not the point. <laughs> um, then over here we have our town. Uh, there's some houses back there, of course. And then over here is the uh, docking market area because we have a town that direction and it's accessible by water. So I want those two towns to be connected through boats. So this is our docking area. And I started it and I'll show you what I got. I already had this uh, floor. If you haven't seen this before, I mix in like gravel and coarse dirt and it looks like it's... Uh, you know, really dirty and stuff, grungy, old wood. Put, put one of these walls here. You know how we do our walls. Um, and then right here is what I started working on. This is going to be a lighthouse, I guess. Um, my first idea was maybe a storage tower or something. Um, either way, there's going to be this. The bottom floor is going to be open to the outside. So just like it is. There's going to be a floor right here, and then we're going to be able to go up to it. Uh, but that's thinking ahead. Right now, we're working on this part right here. And I decided to use birch for it. We'll see how that looks. If I go up that far, nope, can't do it. Have to do two at a time. So yeah, how is everybody? I know it's been a long time. I had my update video uh it went up today as of me recording this, but as as of this episode going up, it was probably five or four days ago. But I did have an update video go up. If you didn't see it, then please go see it. Um, it's just a very short, it's episode 24, I think, of my regular Minecraft series. Um, it's very short, just telling you uh, what's up. And long story short, I'm back and I'm trying to do things the way that I was before or rather even better. So let's just take a back, step back and look at that wood. I kind of don't like it. <laughs> um, we may have to gather some different wood. I wanted something that was bright. It might just look bad because it's not finished. Let me think. Um, how would we fit windows in here? We could fit a window there and there. Could fit windows in the center. I'm gonna think about this for a moment and get back to you. I decided to go with jungle, so while we're cutting this down, I'll just do one wall or something and see how that looks and we can step back so that I don't do the entire thing and then decide, hey, this looks bad. And then we have to tear it down and just like, and then we will be in a situation just like this all over again. 
Um, anyways, so E3 is going on right now as of me recording this. Usually I don't uh, pay attention to that too much. Um, I was interested in the Bethesda showcase, though, and they're releasing a Skyrim remastered thing, which is cool if you're a console person, I guess. Um, don't know why I keep doing that. Let's just do this, okay? <laughs> Make it, come on, guy. Uh, they're doing like a remastered Skyrim, which for me, um, you know, we have mods that basically do what that uh, remastered Skyrim wants to achieve. So for me, not a big deal. Uh, the thing that will really determine whether or not it's any good to me is if existing mods apply to it, uh, work on it. That'll be something to look forward to. Um, gosh, I'm thinking that we might just have to pick a type of wood and go with it. We might just have to go with oak, though. It's, these just look kind of weird. There's nothing wrong with using a little bit of oak, so that might be our best choice. In case you haven't heard, though, uh, about the remastered Skyrim, what it is, is... That depends on what the definition of is, is... Um, it's got a new lighting engine, which is kind of like, uh, if you know what E and Bs are, they're kind of like shaders for Skyrim. It's kind of like a mid-range shader built into the game, and I think the, a lot of the stuff is built on the Fallout engine, maybe? I don't, I don't have a confirmation on that. Um, which if it is, then that could help with crash to desktops, so that would be a good thing. The bad thing would be even if it works with mods, is a lot of people like myself already have the game uh, pretty much pushed to my computer's limits. If I threw in mid-range, even if it's uh, better than, like, ones that, you know, are third-party by mod makers, even if they run better than that, um, I think that I'd have to get rid of some stuff to be able to make it run smoothly on my computer because i've already pushed it to the limit i don't really have room for more all right we can go to that so another thing that i went with on here is this little i wanted a band of just wood right here that's just a little detail idea that i decided to go with it's nothing that important i'm just doing the windows here you can see down there how i did the windows on the what would be the second floor um, now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure what the heck is going on there. I messed that, Mac, bleh, bleh, hello, words. I messed that one up. Um, I'm not really sure where the floor is going to be. Um, I might have messed up the windows. The interior might be a little wonky on this, but I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Um, yeah. So I've been playing a lot of, wait a minute. One, two, okay, so we need our steps here, right there. Yeah, so I've been playing some Overwatch, which I'm sure everyone else has too. In fact, I know everyone else has, every single one of you. Um, I actually don't enjoy it that much unless... I'm playing with somebody. Um, it's just not one of those games that I find that fun playing alone. I'd rather create something in Minecraft. I'm just looking for some clay. You guys can tell me when you see it and I don't because I'm sure I won't see it and I'm fairly certain that I have some. Um, I might have to that's what I got right now by the way um I think I want to do another floor like that maybe and then I'm going to sorry I was just cracking my knuckles I know that price sounded awful um I think I want to do a layer with the actual light in it from the lighthouse with some kind of color I'm thinking yellow 
Gosh, I wonder if I have any back at the other base. Oh right, I've uh, collected clay from down there. By the way, grass growing underwater. I figured out why that happens. It's because Optifine with the clear water, it makes it seem like there's no water, so grass spreads. Um, I wish I'd known that before. I don't really like it. It's not a big deal though. Anyway, I got some yellow stained clay. It looks like pea stained snow, but we're going to go with it because I've already, I cooked it all up and I've stained it all. So, uh, deal with it. I'm thinking that I might need more wood though. We'll see. That was a little too scary for me. I really need... Oh, I do have feather falling. Wow, that still hurt a lot. How high is that? That's got to be 15 blocks. Why did that hurt so much? Does feather falling, like, not work with Depth Strider? If anyone knows, you should absolutely tell me. Um, we have some more wood here, and I will grab it, and I will put it down. And we will finish it. There, that should be enough. I got it just about finished. So we're just gonna climb on up on our really fancy stairway here. You know, I've always thought that you could probably get around quite a bit easier if you just made a nice scaffolding system on all your big projects. What am I doing? But I just can never bring myself to do it. This has got to be the nicest scaffolding I've ever done. But usually it's a pillar. And then you got a pillar up to your pillar. If you come down. And then if you come down you got a pillar up to that pillar. I'm always so bad at it. Alright. I'm putting my pea snow up here. And I'm doing it in more or less the same pattern that that first floor is in. Why can't I make that jump? Please don't fall. And then feels very off from the inside having a corner like that. But I'm thinking let's do it and then step back and then we'll see how we like it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. You know, I, <laughs> I've said that before, I feel, and then didn't like it. Uh, we're gonna have to come back sometime. I'm about out of time. We're going to have to come back some time and put some glowstone up here, make a proper lighthouse. And then now I want to cap it off with, okay, let's do it like this. Oh, wait, there. And then we can figure out something for the roof later. I'm not too worried about right now. I am on a schedule. I am. It's not a lack of motivation this time. A lot of times I get to the end of a project. I'm like, I don't want to do these finishing touches. But you know what? I do. But got family coming, and I'm in like a one room apartment, and I'm not a not not one room, one bedroom. I'm not about to be recording with people, visitors outside, because it's awkward for me, and you'd hear them. Um, so yeah, that's going to be unfinished up here. We could do just about anything up there. Um, thank you. How's that look? Awesome. It looks awesome from underwater. So that's good. <laughs> hey, once we get an interior in there. So the yellow part's actually kind of weird. Actually, the yellow part's really weird. I'm trying to think what I could do to fix that. Well, I'm going to have to think about that. Um, I like the shape of it. Square. <laughs> um, I, like, I like what we've got for this building, for the most part. That yellow part is going to have to change. I'm not sold on that yet. It could look better once we have an interior too. Because it's so hollow right now. Um, and it's clear, clearly hollow because of all the windows. Unlike, excuse me, uh, yawn. Uh, unlike those houses. I mean, they can be hollow and you'll never notice. 
that's pretty hollow. But yeah, that's pretty much what I was going for. A good industrial-ish building for what we have. This is a farming town. You know, that's about, that's pretty industrial for this town, I think. Um, that and the windmill are some attention centers of attention. I actually really like that having, you know, that tower over there and the windmill over there. It's not nearly as grand as that. You know, I'm thinking that the yellow might have to come up higher and those windows are going to have to go s smaller, I think. I was thinking that it was going to be a nice open, uh, just really open area up there with pillars. But I'm not so sure on that anymore. But anyways, that's something for me to think about. Get a screenshot or something. Ah, no, no. Right there? I'm always kind of conflicted. Do I put a screenshot that shows what we built and spoil it? But <laughs> yeah, I do think that was a good screenshot. So anyways, thank you for watching everybody. Uh, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be making videos for you guys and hopefully you guys can, uh, you know, enjoy that, that, enjoy it as much as I am. So thank you for watching everybody. Please leave a like and subscribe. Bye. What da do da da do da da do